I'm exhausted, uh, so I'm not going to stay that long. I have to finish the readings and what the uh, spirits are telling me over the next couple of days, babies. But I'm real tired, but I did promise to come back. Uh, I'm not going to get into the relationship thing with vagina power, penis power right now. I'm going to get into more of some of this reading that things are coming to me. Some really fun beings came in here. Um, so-called demonic entities. Well, some of them are demonic, but I like them. And, uh, some of them, we're dealing with the mermaid kingdom. We're dealing with the animal kingdom. Uh, do you remember when I said, earlier that that uh diddy would describe these underground tunnels he has under several houses the same way i said that r kelly had them under a house with a lake and a waterfall coming out the lake and jocelyn savage's parents contacted me and let me know there was a house in atlanta and they showed me a picture of the house with the basement but i saw some of them they had underground tunnels in atlanta and in chicago and they were connected to some white women and black women being missing in Chicago, uh, drowning, and also connected to mafias and cartels through R. Kelly and drug trafficking, sex trafficking, organ trafficking, uh, coke with uh, R. Kelly and white mafias in Chicago, Atlanta, L.A., and overseas. And over Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, the same connections that Diddy and Jay, all these people in this industry are connected to the higher ups. I'm seeing the same thing with Diddy. I remember I said he said one was like the star, star labyrinth or, 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 or star tunnels underground. One was called the labyrinth. Um... Well, what was the other one? He said, then when I got off the show and finished eating, the spirit said, Star Island. Star Island. That's the star, the, the, the house that he has under there, the tunnels that also go down into the water. They go in different directions. Some of them are, go to dry land, too. This is huge. Uh, really big. They lead to different places and police are connected to them. Politicians are connected to them. So I googled it to see that this exists. Diddy and Star Island. It does. This is somewhere in Florida called Star Island. He has a labyrinth. A highly sophisticated network of tunnels on Star Island. And then I saw there's a movie David Bowie was the high king demon in the movie called The Labyrinth. This girl did not want her small brother to exist or someone wanted these demons to take it. So they took the little boy and then she wanted her brother back. And she had to do a deal with the king demon played by David Bowie, the goblin demon or the goblin king, which is still demonic, to try to get her brother back from him after she had sacrificed the brother. So that definitely tells me religious figures here, Catholic figures here, uh, all these religious sects that are Masonic and very powerful that you wouldn't think are involved here, as well as high-ranking different cartels, Romanian, Russian, Mexican, Asian cartels here, African cartels here dealing with oil and gold and diamonds, Saudi Arabia, United Arab Emirates, United Arab Emirates. All these cities and these states are controlled by these religious organizations, Masonic organizations, political organizations. They have all their spiritual leaders, the only spiritual leaders and gurus. You're going to see out in public are the ones that they are appointed that are blood drinkers and baby eaters just like them. You're not going to see anybody that that comes off as a good person that really is a good person with honor and integrity as a leader, a spiritual leader to pull in the masses. Mm -mm. 
unless they pretend to be good and they down with the get down, goddamn, and they down with the freak offs and shit. And they sacrifice day children and other goddamn folk children and kidnap them. Like the boy Johnny Gosh. They said that Johnny Gosh, they done brainwashed him and raped him once they took him from his mother. And the sheriff had something to do with setting this shit up in their hometown and lying to his mother. They took Johnny Gosh. He's now grown and a reporter for the White House. And that they had him in the White House and high ranking politician running train on him. And, um, yeah, other young men that became older men and drug addicts and unstable that were vouching for this and said that they were in there during the Bush administration, um, as male prostitutes. These couldn't be fake stories because their boys, white, white young boys, now white men, have been saying this since the 50s, 60s, 70s, and since it's always been this way, but they this was in Rome. This was even in Egypt. This is New Rome. And when you're in Rome, you do what this Rome must do. All these cities have these tunnels. Just like you see a couple of months ago, they hushed it up. Them rabbis had that tunnel up there in New York City. Trafficking shit out of there, but they hushed it up. Don't want to tell you where they've been trafficking up out of there. Huh? See, did is tied to them. He has very powerful, high-ranking friends and, and, and all the major banks and televisions and movies and production companies and music companies and moguls and churches and uh, ran through the Jesuits, the small country, which is the Vatican. The Vatican is its own self-governing city don't nobody tell them what to do you can't run no polices up in now you're not gonna go there and dial 911 goddamn because they got their own police they got their own post office they are they you look it up you think i'm lying god damn it they their own fucking city the pope say he god god damn it now god come down and sit in him which is a damn snake satan and this is the year of the dragon look the shit up don't nobody tell the Pope what to goddamn do. Why you think all you hear they fucking boys and sucking dicks and killing boys and shit? And the president won't even step in. They'll shoot his goddamn it ass. Ain't nobody said a motherfucking thing. Because the Pope runners, they got their own coat. They got their own post office. Got their own judge, jury, and executioner, and you and nobody else ain't finna do a goddamn thing about it. Even the queen was under him. Now look it up and tell me I'm goddamn it lying now. Maybe I'm saying this shit because I'm tired. But the last thing I checked, yes, he's about to the black Madonna and really the black Pope and the black hand that you don't see and don't know in the Jesuit general, in the Jesuit military control this thing. So, they... Are under all of them, everything we're seeing and hearing that's going on, it's the main place they prostitute boy and sacrifice. And they tell the world what to do, along with the Queen of England. Puffy is on a picture with Princess Diana, two boys. Huh? And now, some they said something wrong with uh, they daddy. He got counsel, and then the old Diana's oldest son, wife, supposed to have some type of counsel or getting treatment for it or something. And we know that the queen left his ass in charge. Now, they can cure anything. They have a medicine to cure anything, but you suffering with counsel? See, I, we don't know the depths of what that is and why they are putting that in the public eye or if they really die because I don't see that they do. Um, Puffy was on pictures with them. Just like, was it Prince Andrew was raping all these girls and who would bring them to him? Epstein. Hmm. They even took them to court and these women testified in court that he was doing it and Epstein was setting them up with uh, Ghislaine Maxwell and she got a sister. Somebody sent me a picture. Ghislaine got a sister that's with the United Nations or high ranking see they I told y'all 
All these people deal with police and politicians and lawmakers and banking and finance and airlines and buses and con air where the convicts go up in the air. They have farms and food and processing plants where a lot of these uh, pigs and shit they have on there eat humans and they go hunt humans. A lot of these stockbrokers and shit get high and on that powder and handle your money and handle banking finances and loans and mortgages. Get on the weekends and go shoot motherfuckers like that. You know, have them out in the farm or say we're going hunting or we're going drinking beer and shooting. And you find out you get there, either you to hunt it or they have a bitch out there running and tell you going to shoot this bitch. Lady been kidnapped from a restaurant, a bar and grill and shit. And, you know, she out there running in the desert, out there in the sand dunes and Vegas or Cali, some goddamn it where. And, you know, out there at Lake Lanier, and what happened to her? Why is she crying? I heard it. Won't you help this lady get home? Now, nah, bitch, nigga, now you want to be with the big boys, and you want to run with them. You're going to shoot this bitch. Here's your rifle. You're going to shoot this fucker in the head. Now, you ain't going to do it? Okay, click, click. Okay. We're going to blow your goddamn brains out. You're going to shoot this bitch right now, goddamn. Now. Hey. Puffing them be involved in shit like this here. Because that make they dick hard. They get on that powder. Now they say he like a pink powder. That uh young Miami give him. Was this some cocaine. And it mixed with another drug. I some goddamn hair wrong. But said this nigga is a fully functioning. Goddamn it. Dick sucking. Damn boy loving. Goddamn junkie. So this nigga walk around with this pink powder. Pink cocaine. They got cocaine and some hair on some other shit in it. This nigga's out, goddamn it, zooted and booted, goddamn high as a motherfucking kite. Well, wonder he whooped these bitches' ass and fucked niggas down and they wrecked them in the bathroom while these niggas trying to goddamn have a bowel movement and shit, take a piss. This motherfucker is in another goddamn realm. And that, goddamn it, hit my cash up, make it clap, goddamn it. Somebody put my goddamn it cash up in here because. Yeah, he looked like something wrong with him. I told y'all he got that damn shit and got that damn herpes and shit and they done pass it around. He might have that other package too because a lot of them niggas has got that heel. That HIV goddamn or that full blown and take that med and shit. He'll, this nigga's the devil. He'll jack him up on it. You gonna meet me. You gonna sleep with me. You gonna let me fuck you in the ass if you want to be my sister. You want this deal now because if, oh really you don't? Okay, well, get the fuck out of Mobile because you ain't finna get no deal. You won't be bad boy. You know, all that shit. You, you, because cause you really don't want to be a bad boy. See, I'm really about that shit now. And nigga, if you don't want to go over here and suck them dick, you don't want none of this fairy dust, goddammit. I mean, you don't want to get down with the get down. You don't want to be date raped. You don't want to be, you, you know what? Some of them, then he just fuck them. They either end up dead or killing themselves or be sick. They don't never fucking say nothing. Now they coming out fucking saying something. Um, but there's a lot of them ain't because they don't want you to think they gay once you don't, he done told you that he done, God damn it, got geeked up and beat them and went up in their ass. I mean, this nigga is sadistic than a motherfucker. I mean, he don't, he not interested in no gay relationship, you know, like I love you and love you, I'm with one man and shit, or I'm with one woman. They said he likes to beat women's ass. He been doing that since he was goddamn it young. Real on that gorilla pimping ass shit and said that young Miami is down with that gorilla pimping. I guess she jump on bitches and make them paint their toenails white and get fucked in the ass too. She's, you know, handling bitches fun. Fucking and sucking. Because now we know how this nigga really get down. Like I had said, Nipsey said, you ain't finna be on no jet. Ain't no real bitch finna be on no jet with him. With no mink coats like she wear down to her motherfucking shoes. Ball stuff and shit, grinning with him and hanging out time with his girlfriend. No, you not finna do that unless you up him running dope, sucking dick, eating pussy, beating bitches asses, setting them up, goddammit, and ODing some of them are pulling guns and shit. I mean, she, she probably done, she done killed a few bitches because he's the type you're not going to... Be, thank you, baby, for putting my uh, Queen Drip King nipping him a cash up. You're not going to be around him and be a good person and be clean. You can't. It's just like 
Denzel Washington training day. You know, everybody got to have a little dirt on them, you know, so we could trust them. Now, you got to shoot this nigga, you know, or jump on that bitch right there. Or, you know, it's going to be a problem. You can't be no new recruit and you ain't going to be up under nobody else. Cause you got to be up under me now. You going to do this here. I think there's going to be some problem with repercussion. And then he made the white boy snap on him. And, and then he had stole that rush, jump on that Russian, and killed that Russian and supposed to pay for that life. And then they had the money for it. And they shot him in the ass, which is symbolic of digging in somebody's ass. So I don't know about Denzel ass neither. If he ain't gay, he do a lot of raunchy ass shit. And the wife go along with it for money. She got to know. You're going to look in her eyes and tell she's an old school bitch. So it ain't like, you know, she she the type you can pull the wool over her eyes. She ain't going to leave it. Probably too beneficial to, you know, couples like that. OG couples like that. They just die together. They do You do your little shit. And you ain't going to leave me. ain't going to leave you. We just going to be together. We just have an understanding about this shit, bitch. You know, she's not going to come out. She, she would never do that. I don't see it happening. She know what she got. And he's the type of nigga he ain't going to never leave home. He going to divorce his wife. Oh, he down with a black woman. That's just where he's going to stay. But he do his little shit. Because I remember Pinky, this porn star, said, all these uh, actors and shit y'all look up to, a lot of them nasty as fuck and chill their wife and get all kind of STDs and be fucking me and all these other nasty bitches around here. Because you know the nasty it is, the more perverted to them, it's better. And you see these people dressed up and speaking so nicely and looking beautiful and prim and proper and shit. Them motherfuckers do all kind of dog-ass shit, like all kind of dog-ass niggas and dog-ass bitches and trannies, all animals and shit. They do the most profane, disgusting shit because you're not going to get nowhere on tape. Now, you, you know, you're not going to get nowhere up in there. That she wouldn't have said your goddamn it soul. And you're going to sacrifice some motherfuckers. And you're going to set they ass up. And you're going to lure some, some of your buddies and shit around and do this shit to them. If you don't want to sacrifice your mama, your daddy, your children, your sister, somebody you love, you're going to have some groupies. That's when them groupies come in. Your buddy, oh, I just got to go to premiere this year. Yeah, and that ain't, and you finna go to hell in a minute too. You just don't know it because they're not going to tell you this shit. And then when you try to tell them, I don't know what the fuck you talk. You just hate because you couldn't go. Okay. Okay. We just yell. Oh, all right. All right. I've had a few bitches say that to me. And then, you know, I'm calling them all. And when they call or tell me, try to tell me what him, whoa, our asshole long and hanging down and hemorrhoids bust and shit. And I'm like, I tried to tell you. I mean, but that's what you said you wanted to do. So it ain't me. I told y'all I'm going to be me, goddamn. So. <laughs> this shit go on every day and then when you born into it you cannot say no because it's a part of your blood it's a part of your bloodline and your blood type and your DNA you're going to get down with the get down and you try to function in the regular world with regular people where the shit don't apply you're going to get fucked up because can't nobody out here help your goddamn mess how they going to help you when they got a tracker on you or in you and follow you around and shit and you trying to stay at a regular person house and would you open the door? God damn it. It's the Cab County Police. It's the City of Atlanta Police. It's Roswell. Open the door, ma'am. What are you talking? We're not going to knock it them all. And you're like, how is this fucker calling me on my phone? You're going to open the door because we know that such and such is in there. You look at the size. You look outside. Spotlights everywhere. It's fucking midnight. It's like it's lit up and like 12 noon outside with the sun shining. Them boys at that door and them boys getting ready to kick, get they, lay their feet on that door and kick that motherfucker down. Not in, but off the hinge. With their gun pool and the flashlight in your fucking face. Now, bitch, what it is. When you're a part of them circles and you try to run and it's a part of your birth line and they and it's a part of your blood, and they know your blood type and everything you do, and then you can think you're gonna run. It's nowhere on the fucking planet you can go because they run it all. Beat your damn ass, put you in handcuffs. Now where's the bitch at? Oh, that's okay. We got a heat sensor. Bit okay, it's a basement. She's in the crawl space. Go get this bitch and tell tell her parents and let them know. We finna defuse this bitch. This didn't happen. You say it happened because it ain't going to be on the books, bitch. Don't fuck up and get fucked up. This didn't happen. Good night. This is the kind of shit right here.
that go on. You start trying to be a truth teller and shit and get out in public. You can't get no police report on the shit. You can't find the shit. Oh, this bitch talking though. Okay. Set her ass up and run her goddamn church. That's that's that's, that's how this shit go. Mm. The preacher ain't nobody gonna fucking say yeah, cause they got them in the shit. Ain't nobody major shit. You got a line. You see a couple months ago, then her up and sh and, and close that shit up. Somebody up there shot that motherfucker up there at Joel Osteen Church. <laughs> you really think that uh, this mega preacher up here, that's also a mega warlock? God damn it! I mean, you think they finna go up there and shoot them folks at that white man? God damn it! Church like that, just like I mean, and embarrass that man and put that man in the crossfire. See, that was some other shit. And he talked so soft and sweet like a woman with a goddamn man suit on and shit. And that thick, beautiful curl of hair on his head. Top. And the Lord said, ha, hallelujah. <laughs> All that shit. Then they shot the thick out that motherfucker in the goddamn it, church. See, uh-uh. See, they'll line your ass up wherever the fuck you go and get out of pocket. Goddamn, you know what? They're at the church. Fuck it, this motherfucker right here, I don't know about them. They running their mouth because they don't know that we know. They said this shit on the slick, goddammit. See, they finna go public or go be on YouTube with this bullshit. And see, this motherfucker done got out of line, got out of line and shit. Let them go up there. Okay, but this is where they go, goddammit. They gonna go up there, we gonna tell him. You know, he gonna go along with the shit. Because he a part of the, the, the goddamn order. He a mason. Or he might have said some slick shit. You know, so they had to let him know real his or his wife or some some bitch in there. So, you know, this is because you see they don't talk about it. Nobody don't hurt but seal the shit up, put this mother bag in the tag, buy the bag, or ran this motherfucker through the buy ain't no sausage plant and shit. You know, I just ain't talking about this shit no more. Ground them up, make them some potted meat out of them or some sausage. Shot the shit out of this bitch up there. Uh, they said it was a transgender. I don't know wherever it is. It ain't talking, goddammit. It might not even be a whole body no goddamn more. You know what? Speaking of that, and I told y'all this shit was going to come up. You see up there in Chicago or somewhere like that, they done cut this damn black lady up outside. Huh? I got the news. Or I had to say this shit for these fuckers to say I make up shit and I'm crazy and all that shit. Found the lady dismembered up there. Then it gets into the details how she got out there or somebody dropped her off out there, which is what I think. Cut her ass up on a whole bunch of pieces. See, you know, she just this way. I don't know, tell this and tell, uh-uh. Cut her home heart like to go no goddamn way and tell shit because you get to tell this shit on the wrong motherfucker. You know, your ass, they get your ass down there at the goddamn hot dog stand, goddamn it. Now they hit your ass in church. Do a service of wait till they do an intermission. She going to the bathroom. Fight that mad motherfucking bitch up. When she walked down there, pewter bitch talk to motherfucking much, goddammit. I mean, or I don't know if she turned one of these politicians down or wanna break up or cause a ruckus because they said the transgender and shit. You know, they really get attached to them, goddammit. I mean, but it kind of looked like a woman, but then somebody said it was a man. Come on, wait a minute. There, hold, jump. Wait, 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 wait. Like, it's a lady, a uh, couple with three children. Get them out of the way. Shoot this fucker. You know what I'm saying? Bam! Right there. And in a mission, goddamn. Okay, get get that one right there. Take them out in the park. Y'all think I'll be making this shit up? I mean, I mean y'all should see this shit. Some immigrants. They got immigrants doing this shit. Like, they got them bringing them cheerings over here. Dressing the cheers up like look. Oh, here they go. Here they go. Why did I have to say this here? Dressing them up like they going to the circus and dressed the little cheering up like grown ass women. Here come a monkey, man. Here the monkeys come in here. This monkey is a damn midget monkey. I don't know what this is here. I don't know if it's a special kind of monkey or they done cloned or mutated this thing here. But the monkey is a Spanish girl up here. With a little dress, you're like a grown woman. Got some bracelet on her wrist. Got a toe, fingernail polish. Got some toe painted. Got an ankle bracelet on her ankle. Real cute, like a little dog. Got a house upon tail. Got a, you know, a dress with the shoulders. Come off the shoulders and shit. 
like a grown ass woman with some piece of titties up in there, but the titties look, I don't know, shaped like a cookie. I don't look, I don't know if this is an implant. Implant got them a shape round like a goddamn silicone implant. This little child chesses. And behind so it's, it's like not under the skin, but goddamn it, the monkey. You know what? I'm already tired. I don't have time. I didn't know this thing was gonna come in here. The monkey got him some implant up there in his titties, like they don't went up on the Monday, like, but he got hair on his chest, he got hair all over his body. Oh Lord God, God. I'm already tired. I need to lay down. The monkey, they ain't shaved it. I don't know if it's a boy monkey, or, but it looked like it got a pussy because I don't see no nuts down there in the dick, but it got a whole bunch of hair on it. They got the monkey was he show it's got some bikini drawers on with some rhinestone around the side of the pussy with some silicone implant on the monkey chests. He got some big round, like this doctor down there in Mexico done put him some titties in. And he up there showing me his I don't. He got on a red dress, like with some watermelon print on the thing. The little Mexican girl got a watermelon print dress just like him with this, this, this strap, like the, 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 you know how you had them dresses, like a sundress, but it got some little bit of sleeve on it. And you pull the sleeve down so you can show your shoulder and your titty. The monkey up there got some lipstick on with his ugly ass. He got it like a wig up on the top, but he got it like shaved down on the side. With some like some baby doll, like some Shirley Temple girl. You know what? I can't do this. I was trying to stay on the puppy side over there, but this doesn't still about puff, I guess. And I went over there. The monkey got a corset on one thigh. He got a little bottle in the corset on the side of his thigh, like in, inside his thigh. He said it's to keep it warm, like up near his pussy, and then take the, the little bottle. I don't know, what, what is this? Is he like brown looker? Old Nat drank it. Got that lipstick around his mouth. So if anybody sell some pussy, I, look, I don't know who's going to fuck them. I'm really more concerned about the child because the monkey, he seemed like it's a sheep, but it seemed like he'd like to sell pussy to white men. It's like with long dicks. You know what? I can't. Uh, I can't. Then I'm, this is this these Mexican over here, the immigrant. They got the monkey in a cage. They got the little girl in a cage. The monkey holding the little girl hand and petting on her hand on the top of it, telling her that it's gonna be all right. Trying to soothe her. He ready to shake his ass and throw his pussy in the circle. He throwing his ass in the circle. He said they were doing it over there in Mexico. He said he was hanging with they get with them donkeys over there in the Mexico club and fuck them donkeys and stuff and. He said it's a crew of monkeys, some orangutan, goddammit, some circus snakes, and some little children. To come over here, and they said they prostituting them over here. I don't know what this means, but he said he liked Valentine's. So I guess some a nigga he fucking done gave him some Valentine's Day candy call. He got the little heart shape. You know how we were little, like, would you be my Valentine? He got the candy, like, it's a pink heart, they green. They earned, they white, we be my Valentine. He got them shaking it up. In him some goddamn can and then put that liquor bottle on his corset, on his leg. Got some fucking leather sound along with his with his got a big toe and shit like his front of his toes. A scrap on his toe. Scrap go over the toe. His toes out like his feet, like his toenail painted red. The heel out on the back, it got hair hanging off the back of the heel of the goddamn shoe. Look, I don't. You know what? I don't, I don't. It's an alley monkey. You know, I don't know why they don't shave that thing or trim that thing hell down. But he, he, they, I guess they like that androgynous look, even on monkeys, goddammit, where it's a female monkey with them goddamn it implanting his goddamn it chest, but they got that hair around it like a nigga monkey with hair all around the hair hanging off the back of the heel of his damn shoe, his shoe heel, the hair hanging off his feet and shit. You know what? I can't. I, I can't take this here. Lord, I can't take this here. I might find me a look about a little minute. God damn it. I mean, this monkey done stood up in here. Hold with the little girl in here. So they come over here and sell their ass on the weekend. I wonder if this true. Do they bring animals through this thing here? Up here through that arm. Uh, 
through the border. I see some chickens. So they must have, I guess all kind of companies come through there. They bring everything over through there and they got them little babies and shit. And, and along with them immigrants, they have them over in the government, get them a certain amount of money, food stamps, get them a place to stay. They over here prostitute these children and a lot of them like to have sex with these animals. Then they got these dogs coming over here. So I don't know if that's a orangutan or I don't know why they like these monkeys. The monkey told me that that they liking him. Now I he, I don't know time you know they he's showing his ass like that or they rub on the ass. I mean the monkey really ain't got that much of an ass back there, but I don't I don't know if they're gonna implant that in him or give him a BBL. God damn it! I mean, but he liked. Coming off like having him a pause on him. The way he up there, I now that done got me. God damn it, that got me with his implanting now. He say like white men. I don't know why he like white men. I guess they treat him a certain way and shit, but I don't know if they're going to introduce him to some niggas when he get over here. But he say he already over here with the little girl, cute little girl. I think she got a pamper. That's how young this baby is. They got to dress up like a grown woman. Say. It's a lot of men like to fuck little babies dressed up like women's and talking about the, the little girl is sexy and they might, just like that girl miss over in, in South Africa, they might be six months, a year, and those little babies die behind that shit. The monkey seemed like, I don't know if, uh, I, it's, the monkey's a little older, but I guess they... I don't know how they can withstand that, but clearly better than a human. Doing that to a baby, six months old, a year old, two, oh my God, a grown ass man. This is what this monkey is up this little girl, and they teach them how to engage humans. You know, I'm done, man. I'm done. I cannot believe I seen this shit here. You know, and then like he got a nipple, like his, he got a, you know what? Please, this monkey just keep, I don't, you know, I don't know why he's, sh I'm sorry, she is telling me this here. Show me that it's the nipple, this thing, this got a nipple. Show me his left titty nipple, chair was just flat with just some hair on a nipple on it. They don't put this silicone implant on there. And now his nipple, he thinks, she thinks she bout some because she got some human-like titties up in her chest and that. Got a little hard nipple on the outside and rub some ice cube on it and put an earring in the damn nipple. You know what? I can't. Just showing me the nipple and the left nipple that what it got on. See, it got a, 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 a nipple ring on the titty and showing it to me that's throwing it hair like it about somebody. You know, like it's a human goddamn it bitch. You know, got like some almond color hair. You know what? But it's a wig. It wear different pieces. Got a piece up here or a halfway lace front up in the top. Just throwing it over with some copper highlight in it. And it's cut around the side. Kind of ball like now around the side. Just a piece. Like I think got a clip on. Some humans, some niggas taught this boy how to, I mean, excuse me, it's a girl. It's a girl. I don't know if it was a sick chain, but I don't know. Maybe if it shaved some of that hair off of it. Cause they all look alike to me. The men's and the female monkeys, they look alike. God damn it. I mean, maybe they shave or pull some of the hair around their foot and shit. I could see that that's. <laughs> so goddamn bitch, you know. Then they, uh, it, they're like Alf, but Alf kind of. No, nah, it's a monkey. It ain't Alf. I don't know what that thing is. An art block or shit with Alf feel. But that other one kind of looked like Alf, goddammit, that uh, orangutan, goddammit, with that hair slicked over on one side and there's just some string on it and the rest of it gone. That looked like kind of Alf. This a regular goddamn miniature monkey, like a chimp, that's doing this here with the titties and got the damn corset with the look on the left thigh up near the pussy. Okay. Again, back over to the puppy, goddammit, in Star Island. Now, this is where I see the mermaid kingdom spirits over here. Whoo! This is, see, this is reminding me of when I told y'all that up there in that mansion with that snake man. I had them Africans and them Sangomas, them voodoo priestesses. 
or have they snakes and they, they mansion, the snakes that bomb up money and stuff, you could type in on YouTube, snakes that bomb up money. And a lot of women sleep with them, they pussy start stinking. That's a sign of some very demonic spirit on them when they stinking like that. And they take their money. Woman can't get no money, stuff don't open up for because the man done took her, her star off of her. Her, her birthright or blood right up off of her with that snake. And uh, did some of them turn into snakes? This is a part of that marine kingdom that puff about where them spirits walk around. Regular people can't see them. And him, they let me see them and him. It's a kingdom. They started talking to me out there in the water. And it was mermaids. And they're really pretty. Really soft. Really feminine, sexy. Do anything that you want them to do. Best lovers do they love orgies and rituals because they're not human. So they have no morals, they have no restrictions. It's a do or die for them. They like human bodies. So if somebody physically died and they're out of the body, they go back into the marine kingdom where Satan lives and rules the water. That's so why we have all these water problems and infections in the water. They even say in parts of Georgia, the water's not safe to drink. It's killing people because it's full of infectious bacteria and they release raw sewage into the ocean. And Chattahoochee is not treated. It's now making people sick. It's killing people right now. And they come out of there possessed. Once he do them rituals for power and give human blood, because the only way you can get in touch with the marine spirits and have power and them do what you said is that you got to merge and talk to them in the sea and you got to drink human blood and eat human flesh. They're not going to come if you don't sacrifice a human because that's what they live off of. Just like some of these people, these witches, say they go and get these wigs and this weave hair from the uh, marine kingdom. They get them out to sea and then the women put these wigs on their head They turn into whores or start having all type of problem. And certain makeup and certain logos that uh, they have, Versace and all these top name brands, those are coming from marine kingdoms. Something weird just happened to me. I don't know who did this here, but I went downstairs, opened my door, and checked my mail. Somebody done put a a wallet down now, a brand new wallet. It's on my porch. Now, it wasn't wrapped like the post office wrapped it with a name and address and a package. Somebody put this brand new thing down now on my goddamn porch, but it's in this clear packaging. I sent it to me and I said, look at this here. I just went outside. It's a brand new wallet laying now. I think that's for size. I'm not sure. I don't, I, you know, that don't do nothing for me. The name brand and shit. Nobody can't impress me with giving me no shit like that. I don't know who laid that there, but I did not bend down to put my hand on it. It's still outside. That's where the fuck is going to stay now. I hope somebody see it and pick it up that's uh, seduced by designer shit but I don't know where that came from but somebody had to walk that up here and lay that down and I'm not going to put my hand on that because I don't know what did it you see what I'm saying even if a human being did it I don't know what was in them so I uh uh that's, 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 as, as long as I've lived out here nothing like that has ever happened to me and I'm trying to look at the time I'm as the spirits tell me who did this here. I'm trying to put this shit together. Cause uh why would somebody put a brand new designer wallet right there on my goddamn porch and it's it's not the I know the mailman ain't did it. Uh it gonna stay out there, goddamn it. I hope somebody else come across here and pick it up. I ain't gonna sit out one goddamn thing. See, they'll do things like that. You don't them spirits will do that. And getting somebody, somebody trying to entice you or lure you into something or put something on it and touch you and then you don't know what's on you or what the motivation is for somebody giving you brand new design of things. Uh, it's going to stay out there. Because I I know when somebody gives you, when somebody gives you something ragged and nasty, that's one thing. 
for somebody to give you something that most people covet, they just know you're going to take it and they know you're going to want it. And I did, you know what, anyway, it's going to stay out there. So somebody else come get it because I won't be putting my hand on the shit. Oh, spirits will do that. I could be wrong. Maybe somebody had good intentions. I don't know. I just don't like that. That somebody came up here. But see, I'm gonna fix that. I know what to do. This is this is gonna. I know what to do. It's okay. It just came to me. Why am I talking about? It? I know what to do. Um. I don't start island puffing them. They see these beings. These beings are like, and uh, some of them mixed with extraterrestrials. They come down. And they come out that water. See, we don't know how this man's connected because he's so high up. And he's high, dealing with billionaires, trillionaires, people we will never see, we will never know. And those people deal with extraterrestrial beings, some of ours, that they block us off from having access to unless you start to tap into them. These beings will come into a room. You will see them. They look like elementals. They will sit down with you, have dinner with you, or a being or somebody you think dead. Once they give them, because they don't physically die and go to a heaven or a hell, they'll go into the marine kingdom in the water. They'll go underground. They're different places. They'll be in buildings in certain banks. When you start looking at certain buildings where you'll see Masonic symbols on them, they live in those buildings and they do things for their people. Those things are... People don't want to believe that these beings are alive. Gene Deal even talked about seeing Puffy do voodoo rituals and deal with doves or birds or cut them or sacrifice them and shit. And uh, you have to do that. This is a warlock. And he has to be cold and evil towards humans because to be in that realm, and that's who rules it, the devil rules it, and they like human flesh. If you don't want to give it, you're not going to go anywhere. And so I see they come out and start talking to me, and they have this language that they were speaking. Uh, they, they started talking. She was talking, and I'm sitting there, there. I said, what are you saying? Cause I ain't know that they was it was a group of them, mermaids, real pretty. That's why when you see these women, and you see these singers, and you're like, oh, she's so sexy, she's so pretty, she's got a fake ass and fake titties, and got all these work done and shit. That's a spirit on them, shaped like a mermaid, come out of there. They give them the technology for the surgery, the shots, the hair, the wig, all this here shit, all this fake illusionary shit where you get seduced by this person obsessed with this person you think you're obsessed with the person the person might be attracted but not like that once they put that once they glad glow them up see and get them fucking them in now and put them spirit on them and the mermaids come in them because they like having a human experience and being a human body puffing them know which one is really real and which one is really not when they glow you up and put that shine on you, you know when they got a spirit on them because people can't get enough of them. It's a body part on them. Either they ass, they titty, they face. When they moving, you think that that's them moving, just like Beyonce and Sasha feels. That's a demon. That's what somebody from the Marine Kingdom, and they are very seductive. They will get you every time, and the baffle met the transgender. That's from now. Usually men fall for them. They cannot endure the temptation of it. And then they're going to make sure you can't because they're going to get you high. They're going to create all these designer drugs where you don't know if you're alive or you're dead or you sleep or you wake. They got you in the jacuzzi. He knows. Puffing them know they got these chemists around their white boys of chemists. That they locked up. They have other ones around them because they know the vibratory field of it and the weight of it, a particular entity. And they'll give them the human sacrifice. And they like to do children. Those are his most purest form. And the glands. And they have to consume. These higher millionaires, billionaires, trillionaires, old banks and shit to consume and rape children. Because those beings like those, then I seen them walking in his house. 
and going up under that where the tunnels at. And that's the that's what one of them came and she said, You're talking about Star Island. I said, Star Island. I Google. I says, "Is there? Does that exist? A Star Island with Diddy? It pops right up there. It was one of the houses they raided. They must have seen the tunnels, cause that's what the spirit said. You're talking about Star Island, dear. Come on, we'll show you. And then they started talking to me, and I went down there in the water. And they all came up. A group of them were talking. They're very friendly, very talkative. They didn't attack me. And that's when they started showing me their different languages. I didn't know that they had them and the way they was talking. And she was like, yes, this is what. Oh, don't mind the city. What? Don't mind the city. I said, oh, you'll let me. Yes, this is what this we talk to each other. He, they know the language. There's certain uh, celebrities know the language. All the higher ups know the language. And they, uh, he's some of it, Phoenician. They, she's showing me these uh, cues, the way it's it's drawn. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sit with them, and I'm going to let them show me what they want me to see, because they said that that's how these people get away with this stuff, because they control. The different spiritual kingdoms and they participate and they get their rewards for honoring these uh and there's some extraterrestrial beings and they're talking about nasa and governments they all run and they have to have these codes if you don't have these codes and you don't know these like you're not getting in there but they already know if you consume human blood and you like to sacrifice and rape children because once you drink human flesh and eat a human, you're never the same. And the DNA and the blood of the human, the template and the blood type is going to glow you up. Regular people don't know these things and I talk these things. You know something on somebody or you might say, it's something about this motherfucker that give me the creeps or something on them that just enticing me and draw me in, but you don't know what it is and... It'd be that. And then you look at some some of them eyes with like a blackness in their eyes. Look at Jay-Z's eyes. Mm -hmm. Look at Puffy's eyes. Look at R. Kelly's eyes. Them black IPS eyes. Look at T.I. and Tiny's eyes. Look at Nipsey Baby Mama eyes and they've gotten blacker since he physically died looking in the eyes the black chairmans look at some of the leaders look at tg jake's eyes hmm? look at dj Kellis' eyes hmm? you look at these singers and some of these actors entertainers eyes you will see what i'm talking about this is uh also one thing with b smith he got a baby by one of diddy's friends that work at motown huh he know i tried to tell you that oh boy These spirits get off a of star island, they surround and protect Diddy. But they protect the higher ups more. Diddy is more like a fall guy and a sacrifice. He is not the end all be all. He's just one of the workers here to them. He's nothing to them. He's something to us because we looked at him and this is a black millionaire. I'm going to be not. And you know, it's really sad that these rappers are talking about all this stuff is alleged and we don't know if Diddy did this. Yes, yes, we do. These people are coming out and testifying, and just like that shine shooting, and that lady say he shot her in the face and shit. We know he did this shit. I believe Cassie and these other people, these rappers, he didn't do that. And you know, he's a bitch, they finna take him down. So basically, you don't care what he do to other black people 
and other minority people and Latin people. You just care that, that he makes his money, which means you in it too. Or you speaking out because he got some butt videos of you too. Just like he got Stevie J. Look at Stevie J's eyes. Stevie J is a beaded eye motherfucker. This his eyes go back and forth. You know, look look at uh Meek Mill eyes go back and forth. Look at that what Montana or what his name is um that was hanging with the Kardashian. Look at these people's eyes. The eyes are beady, black, and unstable. Which means they usually go both ways, goddammit. They do what what his name? Frenchy. French Montana. Look at the eye. People don't give a fuck about no bitch, about no child, about nobody living or dead. They don't care about themselves. All these people are hijacked and possessed. This is what these fears told me. They got them all on lock, and they have made agreements with them. At these white parties and all that, that's who they honoring. The light, the Lord of the light, Lucifer. Where it's white and clean and pristine, and then Satan comes out after that, because that's when they had the human eating parties. Huh? That's when the, the mermaid kingdom come down. She said the werewolf that's ruled by the moon and the waters move, ruled by the moon. That's why you see a lot more crimes happening when the moon is full, the tide comes up. She said because it's animalistic, it's vampiric. And, um, huh. Uh, oh, boy. This is uh, going to be interesting for me because I'm probably going to spend the next few days writing because they want to teach me and I want to learn. So I'm going to sit here and just, yeah. but I'm exhausted right now. This done took me down, man. God damn it. So they got Mariah Carey. I just heard that right there. I said, we got her. Said she on mental health. You know what? I don't. I, I don't know that. It's alleged. Said by sleeping with Nick Cannon, them demon he got on him, and then it spell cast on her by Tommy Matola. Said that Mariah Carey seeing her beings along with her sister and her mama, cause her mama put some lined up, put some stuff on her with them occult type of shit. Said sometime Mariah Carey. Carrie mine ain't goddamn it good and uh so she have to take some kind of medicate you know what it said most of them do because they see and hear shit walking around the house because of stuff they done did they get up there don't have no peace at night can't hardly be by themselves and looking no goddamn it miracle you know what i don't know that about mariah Carey. one of them just the mermaid said it just like Wendy Williams says, she don't be careful. They're going to have her ass up there like that and end not the middle. You know, oh my God. This goddamn monkey with this bracelet on. You know what? Mm -mm. Oh, boy. Y'all need to hit my cash up, make it clap, because this is a lot on me, goddammit. They don't this shit done blow me down. I'm tired as hell over him. If somebody done laid a goddamn pocketbook on my damn port. Oh, God, uh, they not finna have me out there like that monkey, goddammit. Throwing my pussy and shit with an ankle bracelet, goddamn it, thigh bracelet, or goddamn two break, got a bracelet on each wrist. Put some implant on the shit, with the nipple heart, with a nipple ring in it, put some ice on the shit. I'm finna have me out here, goddamn it. I don't, mm -mm. Oh, Jesus. I, Lord have mercy. I don't even call Jesus. I don't know what the fuck this is. Now he tell me it's his birthday, want a birthday cake and shit. They're gonna throw the muck up birthday, you know, with, with some balloon birthday party and shit. While he up there throwing his new set of titties and shit to celebrate. He up there hunching on one leg. You know what? I'm finna lay down. I'm finna lay down. No, I ain't got really reverse. I ain't get no bad feeling. But at the same time, you know, who would do that? 
You know, I ain't, I ain't even dating nobody. I ain't got no boyfriend yet or none of that shit. And somebody, I got some admirer to come put. Yeah, he got some balloons. He gonna have a birthday cake. And he up there holding his ass in the circle with one damn leg. Oh, boy. Jesus, I don't, oh, Lord, God. Call my ancestors to protect me. I don't know. I, I, I must have a secret admirer, God damn it, to come up here and put a gift up on my damn board. Y'all, please pray for me, goddamn it. Hit my cash up, make it clap, because, like, I got to get the fuck out of mobile, because I don't, it's, 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 I don't know. Most of a goddamn admirer don't know. I, I know, honey, honey, Ray TV, I know, because I, but I didn't think that would happen, you know. Oh, boy. I, at least it ain't nothing bad. I guess that's all I can say. But I don't like people leaving gifts for me. I don't know. You know? I didn't know I had anybody that wanted to leave me some. Anyway. Y'all uh, hit my cash up. Make it clap, please. And I can finish doing this ring. You said, Nip, want to make sure you look good. <laughs> Them, I wish I knew that was my baby giving me to have somebody give me a gift. <laughs> oh God, I'm gonna try it. I love y'all. I, I got to finish this work on this reading, and I'll come back and tell you what I found. But I, I can't do it tonight. I, I don't even know what it is they, else they want to say. But I'm exhausted, y'all. I've been up all day working. Uh, I'm too tired to eat. Yeah, I just had me a couple of slices of cheese. I really wouldn't want to eat nothing that big, but hey, y'all, hey, everybody. Thank y'all for loving me and supporting me. Yeah, I did, at 12, I did not touch with either one of my hands. I just kicked it away. Uh, it, it looked clean, looked brand new. Um, I still didn't because I don't know who would, you know, bring me something. Um... I know that looks like this one I'm gonna do, uh, Kay Carter, because this is wild. Oh, I love y'all. I'll talk to you soon.